Celebrity Death Story is taking a look back at the bold-faced names we lost in 2022. A number of such celebrities passed away in January 2022 including Bob Saget, Dwayne Hickman, Richard Dean Taylor, and many more. Watch this video to learn all about the celebrities who died in January and their incredible lives and careers. Make sure like and subscribe our channel for any latest video. Slobbering all over you is what I'm doing because I need you to like me real bad because I have no act and I have no life and I have no future. I'm serious. My mom is Gumby, my dad is Pokey, and I'm Mr. Potato Heads. Bob Saget was an American stand-up comedian, actor, and television host. Saget was also known for his adult-oriented stand-up comedy. He was found dead in a hotel room on January 9 at the Ritz-Carlton Orlando. A cause of death has not yet been determined. He was 65. After you, uh, you finished the series. I finished the series and I did some movies in the 60s, uh, some beach party movies. Right. Stuff while bikini. Uh. Dwayne Hickman was an American actor and television executive, producer and director who worked as an executive at CBS and has also briefly recorded as a vocalist. Hickman died from complications of Parkinson's disease on January 9, 2022, at the age of 87. Indiana wants me. Lord, I can't go back there. I wish I had you to talk to. Richard Dean Taylor was a Canadian singer, most notable as a recording artist, songwriter, and record producer for Motown during the 1960s and 1970s. He died on January 7, 2022, at the age of 82. A cause of death has not yet been confirmed. Maria Ewing was an American opera singer who has sung both soprano and mezzo-soprano roles. She is noted as much for her acting as her singing. Ewing died in Detroit, Michigan on January 9, 2022, at the age of 71. And he said, you know, Lonnie, Americans don't like victims. So you have to see yourself as a woman with a cause, not a grief. Lanny Ginier was an American educator, legal scholar, and civil rights theorist. Ginier died from complications of Alzheimer's disease at a care facility in Cambridge, Massachusetts, on January 7, at the age of 71. You saying that that bird put his skate in my mouth. Nobody ever does that to me. That bird is a little chicken. He's an amateur. He's a... Dina Booher was an American actress, professional wrestler, and roller derby skater. She is known for her appearances with gorgeous ladies of wrestling as Matilda the Hun. In her later life, she suffered from lupus and peripheral neuropathy. She died on January 7, at the age of 73. How close has my association been in the past with Dr. King? For some years now, I've worked uh, raising funds for Dr. King because... Sidney Poitier was a Bahamian-American actor, film director, and ambassador. In 1964, he was the first African-American and first Bahamian to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. Poitier died of natural causes on January 6 at his home in Los Angeles at the age of 94. It's real great. It makes, uh, especially us older guys, uh, appreciate the great support that they have had in the past. And even Donald Rogers Maynard was an American professional football player who was a wide receiver in the National Football League (NFL) with the New York Giants and St. Louis Cardinals. Maynard died of dementia on January 10, at the age of 86. I think that what's really important in terms of the dynamic that's happening with videos, which is obviously the wave of the future, I mean, records as we know them. James M. Toom was an American jazz and R and B musician, songwriter, record producer, activist, and radio personality. He died on January 9, at the age of 76. The cause of death was cancer. It's all I can do for them. Without you, we'd have been sold as slaves. If I'd arrived sooner, I could have saved the men, too. And now where do you go? Lou Digby, better known as Mark Forrest, was an American actor and bodybuilder best known for playing the lead in a series of Peplum movies in the 1960s. 
including the role of Maciste several times. He died on January 7, one day after his 89th birthday.